What's up everybody, welcome back to Silent Hill 3, um, if you're new, welcome to my channel, sorry that you found this place. <laughs> uh, so last time, uh, we came into this room here, the sports shop, and uh, we cracked open the walnut, which had a moon pearl or something inside a moonstone, what is this, Pokemon? Anyway, um, so yeah, so I was going to release this video, uh, like last week sometime. However, <laughs> I found out that uh, I really needed ammo and there wasn't any ammo because there's a uh, boss coming up. So I had to replay the whole game up to this point. So that's why it took so long. So anyway, this time I ran through. I didn't kill many uh, enemies. I need to give myself some health here. However, now we have 80 ammo. Uh, not to mention, yeah, we have 10 in the handgun. So, let's go fight the boss this time. This should be interesting. Oh my gosh. I forgot how crazy it was here. Yikes. It's still crazy. Oh, the camera. Turn, please. Well, this is loud. Uh, is this the door we need? I'll have to turn that down for the recording. <laughs> so, basically, it seems like they put a bunch of enemies in my way after I got that moonstone. So, if this is Pokemon, then these are Zubats. <laughs> in Mount Moon, that is. What is that noise? No, I don't want any part of that, thank you. Uh... Wait, no. The door's back here. Yeah, there should be a, uh, quicker way back to the entrance. Uh Don't touch me! Oh, jeez, he knocked me over! Get up! No upskirts here, thank you. Okay, uh, so we want to go up this way. Come on, Heather, walk up the escalator. The escalator. Really, why would they put you right there? Get out of my way. Bad dog. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, with the moonstone and the door. Can't use that here. You're wrong. I can too. Oh boy, we better hurry up too. Okay, it's you. Get in the door. Whew. <laughs> okay. Now, I mean, I've got to have enough ammo for this this time. Last time, all I had was the pipe. And there was no way I was going to defeat this boss with a pipe. I mean, maybe there's a way to do it, but I don't know it. So let's descend into the beast's lair. This is really creepy, actually. <laughs> Just climbing a ladder, going down three floors into a bottomless pit. Sounds wonderful. Just lovely. My mall set up this exact same way. You want to get down to the video game stores? They're in the basement. You gotta take this ladder. <laughs> was that a rattling noise? That was not good sounding. Yes, this happens every time too. <laughs> They make you buy something. It sounds like somebody wants to sell me something. Oh, 
It's only ten ninety nine. God, that's gross. And it looks kind of nasty, if you know what I mean. Okay, where, oh, there he is. Stay away from me. I don't know if he... I don't remember if he comes out of there or not, but... Ooh! Okay, so he does. Well, he just rolled over the top of me. Gross. How much health does that take off? Oh, hardly any. Oh, he came out of the same one. Leave me alone! Yeah, I don't know how you would fight him with a melee weapon, though. Because as soon as you get up close to him, he just bites you. You maybe get one hit. Oh, yeah, like that. But if I had a melee weapon, it would have been every time. Get up, Heather! She's just going to take a nap. It's cool. Okay, for real, though. Please get up. <laughs> what the heck? Reload! Oh, he can slam the ground? Kill it! Oh, wrong button. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a block move. Come on out. There you are. Got him. So much easier with the gun. I, again, I don't know how you would do it without one. So, and that's how you beat them. Just stay back, shoot them with a pistol. A lot of the enemies early on in the game, you don't even have to uh, kill them. Just run around them because they're so slow. Or their their moves wind up so long that it's easy to tell. It's the shopping mall just like before. That's confusing. I'd be like, boy, do I check myself into a uh, like a crazy house or do I go to the hospital? Cause that shit was messed up. Clearly, we go this way. Do, 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 do. I wonder if we can use the phone now. <laughs> the phone doesn't work. Well. We all have our hopes. Wish I could get a hold of Dad. Alice Ice Cream. Where's a... What was it? Happy Burger? Here's Happy Burger. Oh, look. It's still... <gasps> we can go in? Well, I didn't know that. Dude, that's so cool. I didn't know you can come in here. That's where she was sitting in the beginning of the game. Ha! Huh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad that I never came in here. Three things of handgun bullets and a health kit. That is awesome. And a save point. Well, what do you know? I mean, how many years have I played this game? Never once tried to go in there? <laughs> Good old burger shop. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to go home. Because this day's been a mess. Heather. And where have you been? What did I do? What do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? He's just a private investigator. I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why I'm a private investigator and I know nothing. Wait. Uh I'm not making a good case for my job credentials here, am I? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here, and I got a weird feeling it's 
really screwy. <laughs> Maybe I'm just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused. I'm a teenage girl. I'm the center of the universe. That's what's special about me. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. How did I remember that? Hmm. I've never seen that before. I don't know if that's. Hell if I know. <laughs> Hell if I know. I don't know if that's a normal thing, but is there normally subway? Like, I don't know. Can you? Is there normally subway entrances inside of malls? I mean, there aren't any here, obviously, but uh, it's interesting. Also, uh, the name of the creepy lady with no eyebrows. Her name is Claudia. It's an interesting. Uh, thing that the drug in the first game was called White Claudia. I don't know what the connection to that could be, but that's a interesting uh, coincidence. Also, this is the creepiest uh, subway ever. These lights, I, I assume they're on, but they aren't giving off any light. Also, there's a strange little glitch I'm getting up there. Oh well. Oh, okay. Guess we're going this way. Uh, we need a map. Hopefully I haven't passed it up. Turn the camera. Uh. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? We need platform three? Okay. Uh, what is this one? That's Hazel Street. Wait, what street did we need? We needed, um... Do, 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 do. Bergen Street. Okay. Wait, oh, what's this? That's Hazel again. Where the heck is Bergen? See, you, may, you might know where we need to go, uh, Heather, but I don't. So I think I need a map. Oh wait, here we go. Map. Sorry, Heather, I'm taking the map. <laughs> uh, okay, those all say Hazel. You got Central Square. Hmm. Can I go in here? Let me in! Okay, don't let me in then. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I didn't care in the first place. <laughs> Whatever. Um, hmm. Whoa. Okay, we can go down. Okay, platform three. That is where we want to go. How do we get to platform three? Uh. Okay, well, it's showing. Let's go this way then. I'm sure it's gonna be locked or something. Uh, but it should be. Wait. Oh, uh, whoops. It should be back here. At least if I'm reading the map right. Tap, 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 tap. And, yep, yeah, of course, it's broken. Also, that goes up anyway. That wouldn't help us here. Let's go down this one. I think this is... God, I don't want to go down there. Hmm. Well, better go face our fears. Why are they going to make noises like that? Uh, 
Ah, Bergen Street. That's what we want. Hey, things are looking up. I really don't think any subways are running, though. Bergen. Let's go. Hello. Oh, there's doggies down here. Great. I love the doggies. No. Bad dog. I'll reload. They take so many bullets. Um, okay then. Will this open? Yeah, of course it's locked. And I don't want to jump down there because I think we'll get ran over by a train. That just sounds like something that would happen, so... Don't shoot at that one. He's down there. You know what? Don't shoot at that one either. Let's just go. I'm ignoring you. I well, can't go that way either. Well, that was a dud. Go the other way. Hmm. Bypass that fence entirely. Uh, that's always nice. Thank you. Health drink. And nothing else. Hmm. Nothing over there either. Let's check our map real quick. So, obviously we've been there and there. Let's go up here. Hmm. Hmm. I guess let's try platform four. I'm not sure exactly what we need to do just yet. I know there's a subway somewhere down here. I always hated doing this part of the uh, game. It kind of drags on a little too long and everything looks very samey. I don't know. It, it's basically the subway version of a sewer level. <laughs> Those are always so fun. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, what's this? I read this a long time ago. It's a nothing little occult magazine. Seemed like a bunch of crap to me. It's not so bad if you just read it for fun, though. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they are dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt the, that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness of the moment they died. The pain can get so bad that they turn into wait oh that they turn to humans for salvation dash dash or they begrudge humans for their lives at such times they can possess humans please no oh <laughs> please places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame you should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or at the time of death occurred. Or time death occurred. Whatever. That is, if you don't want it to happen to you, too. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, well, that's spooky. Uh, let's go this way. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, then. Ooh, look. All the health we could ever want. Or need. Uh, well. Nothing this way. Ooh, I need to be careful not to accidentally walk off. That would be bad. Yeah, what they said. Hmm. Nope. Just gonna go up. Hey, safe point. Very bright and glowy. Alright. <laughs> Boom. 
Nice. Like your bubblegum font. Uh, what is that? A cat? <laughs> nice cat. Uh, da, 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 da. so this I think is okay. We can't go this way yet. This actually has a uh, a chain on it, though. So I can't turn it with my hands. I need something to twist that off. Then, cool. Well, we've got some kind of uh, lead here. Let's go this way. That one's just locked. This is open. Stomp my way on down here. Ooh! Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> have I? I haven't been here yet, have I? No, because this is covered. That's a weird thing to do. Cover your rails. So that leads. Oh, what's. Anything over here we need? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I hear dogs though. More dogs. There's one to the right, ignoring you. This goes down further. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, hey, I think that's what we need to uh, open that door. If I can just get to it. Yeah, I, I don't care about the pet. Thank you. Got a nutcracker. Okay, so it's a different kind of nutcracker in this case. <laughs> it's not the one that I used before on the walnut. This is uh, one to crack, I guess, nuts and bolts. Yeah, get away from me. This goes down too. What's down here? Hmm. Something special, I hope. Uh, sir, you, that guy looks dead. Is someone sleeping here? All this red stuff around here is blood. This guy's not sleeping. Why am I not surprised least, or why am I not the least bit surprised? Oh my gosh. Sometimes I just can't, I have a lot of trouble reading. I think that nightmare has numbed my senses a little. Yeah, she's definitely kind of nonchalant about the dead body. I wonder what uh, character model they used underneath that. Be interesting to see. Or if it's just like legs and they just put stuff over the top of it. It's not really a character model. Under it. Ow! Run! Uh, I think this is the way we need to go back. Better check my health. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't messed with that in a minute. Well, we are doing good on items now. Uh, okay, so we go back this way. Tap, tap, tap. Here we go. And go in our inventory. Nutcracker. Crack that nut. Clank. <laughs> awesome. Uh, hopefully this is the way we need to go, though. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's a way we need to go, but I don't know if it's the actual way we need to go. Oh, there's the subway train. Um. Hmm. I don't want to go in there. I don't like the sound of that low growl. Let's we'll see what's over here before we go. Uh, does this open? Nope. Of course not. Is there anything back here? Oh, a downway. Let's check out the downway. <laughs> Hello? Excuse me. 
Oh. Cool. Junk. I could totally use that ladder for something, though. In real life, not, not this game. This goes down again. Maybe I should check out that subway first. Yeah, I'd hate to miss something. And since that keeps on going, I, I feel like there's something in that subway I need to check out. That might not be the one that I need to take home. Uh, okay, go back this way. There better be good items in here and not just monsters. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Shotgun shells. Ooh. Easter shotgun on subway. Also, who's bringing shotguns on subways? Yeah. Somebody's present. <laughs> Nobody I know would give me something this gross. I guess guns are icky to Heather. The the master marksman Heather. <laughs> the girl who's like, ew, guns are icky, but then sees a dead body down down at the uh, bottom of some steps and goes, eh. Oh no. Uh, we'll just ignore him. Those things are bad. Bad news. I'm sure we'll fight one eventually. I'd rather just not do it right now, though. Waste all my ammo on it. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna look down here real quick. And... Hmm. Cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go down then. Uh, we'll go down this one first. I hear doggies. Hmm. Eh, turn the camera. Ooh. No, 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 no. Get off of the tracks. That's not smart. It's kind of wax. Alright, we'll go this way. Oh, nice. Saves me from having to walk to the other side. Oh, the doggies. Wait a second, we've been here. And I don't like that music. Nope, we're going back. Uh... Go back up here. Da, 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 da. There's an Easter egg I think we missed. I didn't read a piece of paper that would have activated it. Bad doggy. Okay then. Why are you running from me? That's how it's done. Uh, well, this is pointless. Okay, then. Oh, wait. What do we got here? Can we go this way? Nope. That figures. Don't you jump down there. Let's go back up. See, I don't know if I'm supposed to jump down anywhere because I remember distinctly jumping down on one of these and a train comes and runs you over. Well, I'll see you guys whenever I figure this out. Alright, so I have it all figured out now. Um, one thing I found, and I forgot about it. I feel silly now. 
um, for that Easter egg, there's a newspaper on top of this ticket booth here. Which reads, A fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting on the platform at the Hazel Street station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated <laughs> by the arriving St. Renata college-bound train. The victim died instantly. I would assume so. He got decapitated. While police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witness reports or <laughs> witnesses report that the victim did not look inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is still unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, and was wearing a black jacket. So yeah, after you find that, and you find that one uh, newspaper down below, that activates a uh, Easter egg. Also, I now know where we need to go. So that's good. Uh, he says as he opens up his map because he forgot where to go. No. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so first and foremost, Obviously, we've read this already. Uh, but yeah, then you would just walk down here after you've re read both of those. And then this happens. And then you gotta run back real quick. Creepy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, apparently there's a ghost in this game. <laughs> Alright, and now for the, uh, the exit to this place where we're supposed to go. This kind of flies in the face of everything that you would learn from down here. Because normally you're not supposed to jump off here and run out of the rails because a train will come and hit you. However, here, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Ouch. I'm gonna run back. Let go of me. Well, we're gonna get hit. Woo, that was close. I thought for sure I got hit. Those stupid dogs, which are now all crushed. Yeah, I don't think I want to get on that. Also, let's check. Big old mean doggies bite, not me. I'll just use the big one. There we go. Well, how did she see that door open? It's not even open down here. Uh, more dogs. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I gotta go up and around. Yeah, there's no way that she saw that open. Crazy. <laughs> and I guess we're uh, going home. I hope. Well, all right, guys, I guess we'll end it here. <laughs> uh, next video we'll be sure to uh, see where this train ride takes us <laughs> till then I guess I'll see you guys later peace